Hello everyone, today in this video we will cook a huge Rafa Yellow, weighing in at around 78 kilograms. But let's look at the original first. We need to understand what is inside. We cut in, and we see a nut, and then there's a lot of cream, a waffle ball, and a very last layer of coconut chips. Now we go to the store. There we bought 60 eggs, a whole 10 kilogram bucket of cheese, cream cheese. You can see it, for example, in rolls. Seven liters of heavy cream. Four kilogram packs of condensed milk. 10 packs of margarine. 15 kilograms of flour. Coconut chips, five kilograms. Nine kilograms of sugar two buckets of honey, as well as white chocolate, 80 bars, three packages of parchment paper, and now we can head to the checkout. All these products together cost us 205 American dollars. We transfer all this into the car, and on the way home, we stopped at the store and bought six kilograms of almonds. This cost us another $68. So, the first thing we need to do is make this waffle ball. Let's knead some dough for the waffles. We need two and a half kilograms of margarine. We open them up, dump them into the saucepan, and put it on the heat, and we let it melt. We open up the tray with eggs. We're going to knead the dough into two gastro containers. Therefore, we take and break 50 eggs into each. Using a mixer, we mix them well. Open up some sugar and pour one and a half kilograms into one of the gastric capacities. Pour in the melted margarine and mix it again with a mixer. We looked and realized that everything would fit into one gastric capacity. Therefore, we pour all of the contents. And the last thing that's left is flour. Open it up and pour in three kilograms. Mix it one last time so that there aren't any lumps. And now our waffle dough is ready. But you're also going to need some caramel. It is very simply made from honey and sugar. We open up the honey and pour in about a kilogram. We also open up the sugar. A whole three kilogram pack of it will go in. We set all this onto the stove. And on a small flame, all this will turn into the caramel we need. Done. And now the question arises, how to make sure that we end up with a smooth waffle ball? The same as in the original candy. We will make waffles in the shape of a hemisphere, but where can you get such a large mold? The answer was right under our noses. It's a grill. We unscrew its legs and everything else. And we get this sort of shape on which we will glue our waffles, but so that they can be separated later, we take some parchment and wrap the entire surface with it. We fix it together with a regular stapler. Just like that. We cover the table with a film so as not to stain it in caramel and put on our mold. We take the waffle iron and we finally can start. Pour a little bit of dough into the middle. Our waffle is ready in a minute. Pour it with liquid caramel and glue it to the mold. Now this needs to be repeated a lot of different times. And our hemisphere is covered. But this is only one layer, and so that it can withstand the weight of the future cream, you need at least four of these. We fried and glued waffles for four hours. But we were not ready to remove the mold yet. It was necessary that the caramel finally set. To speed up the process, we put a fan close by and let it blow. The mold has cooled down. So we turn it over. Tear off the parchment and pull out our mold. And the stuck paper easily lags behind the caramel. That's it, the first semicircle is ready. It is very thick and very strong. The waffle semicircle weighs as much as 10 kilograms. To have enough for the second, you're gonna have to need some dough. We break in some eggs, sugar, and mix it up. Pour in the melted margarine. Mix it up again. Pour in some flour, 
and mix it one last time. Again, we're gonna glue the grill with baking paper, but in this semicircle, you're gonna need to leave a hole through which we will then pour the cream. Therefore, we will put a culinary ring in its place, and we also glue waffles onto four layers. You can remove the ring. And the second semicircle is also ready. In my opinion, they turn out to be just perfect. We checked that they fit well with each other. And yes, everything is fine. You can proceed to the cream. For this, we need four kilograms of condensed milk, seven liters of heavy cream, and 10 kilograms of cream cheese, and powdered sugar. Let's start with the cheese. Open it up, and put it into a huge iron pot. Then the condensed milk. Open it up, and we squeeze all four liters into the cheese. Now all of this will be mixed with a construction mixer. We speed it all up and we turn it all into a cream. Now we need two kilograms of coconut chips. Pour it into the cream. We mix it all in and we realize that this isn't enough. So for such a big rough a yellow, there's not very much cream. Therefore, we bought another 19 kilograms of cream cheese and four kilograms of coconut chips. It cost another 96 American dollars at the register. Open up the cheese, and put everything into the same pan. Top this with more powdered sugar, whisk it up. Now let's turn to the cream. Unscrew the lids, and pour all seven liters into another container. With a clean mixer, we beat all of this together, starting with small turns. We also pour in some powdered sugar. And literally in five minutes, they become thick. Pour this all into a huge saucepan. And pour four more packs of chips on top. We mix it one last time. And now our Raffaello cream is completely ready. It's very coconutty and very tasty. And because of the cream cheese, it's also heavy. We scoop it all up with a large spoon and transfer it into the lower semicircle. We filled up almost half, but everyone knows that there should also be a nut right in the center. Let's make a huge nut. We have six kilograms of almonds, half of it is fried. We pour all of this into one container, and mix it around with our hands. We will glue all these nuts into the big one with the help of caramel, so let's cook it. So for caramel you need honey, sugar, lemon juice, and a little bit of water. First, some honey, just 300 grams. Open some sugar, and pour in one and a half kilograms. Half a cup of plain water, and some lime juice. We put all this on the stove, and mix it every five minutes so that all the sugar dissolves. We're left with this caramel the color of toffee. Caramel gradually pours into the nuts, and we mix it all up so that they stick together. The caramel cools down pretty quickly, so I'm gonna mix it right with my hands. We spread the nuts and caramel onto some film, and with our hands, we try to mold one large nut in the mold of almonds. We put this inside, and press it into the cream. Now we glue the edge of the first semicircle with caramel, and top it with the second. In places where not everything is sealed very well, we smear with caramel. We have half of the cream left, which needs to be poured through the upper hole. But how do we do this? It's very simple. We take a thick film and open it up. Diagonally unwind some paper towels and heated iron is passed over the top. After that, the film is soldered to it. With some scissors, we cut off all the excess. And due to the fact that the film is doubled, we're left with a huge pastry bag. We fill this all with our coconut cream.
We cut off the tip. And just pour it through the hole in top. Now we need to bake three more waffles and close the hole with them from above. Now let's make our way to the chocolates. They need to be opened and broken into cubes. To make this easier, we beat them on the table and then open them. The chocolate bar is already broken. We continue until we fill the bowl with a small heat. Then we send all this into a steam bath. To make the chocolate melt faster, we mix it. In the meantime, we open the coconut chips and pour it all into a bowl so that it would be convenient to take it out. When the chocolate is melted, we remove it from the steam bath and put it near our workspace. Dip the brush in it and smear the surface of the wafers. While the chocolate is not set, sprinkle it with some coconut chips. It sticks pretty well. It's more convenient to do this together. So one pours chocolate and smears it and the second person sprinkles the shavings. Our Raffaello is almost ready. All that's left is just to seal up this uneven joint. So we take some chocolate white glaze with a spatula and cover the joint with it. Well, and then we sprinkle with shavings. Now our giant Raffaello is ready. We counted all the products that we used. And this thing weighs as much as 78 kilograms. We did this for three days. And our giant Raffaello costs us around 370 American dollars. It's just unrealistically big and should be very tasty. But how are we supposed to try it? We break the upper semicircle with a knife. Now you can break off a piece of the waffle and dip it into the delicious cream. And it is very tasty. And it looks just like a rough yellow, though maybe not the exact same. And if you would like to see me continue cooking something cool and super large scale, then just like this video.